or I got time today, hotties, I got time. And you are engaged. You and your fiance, you are fianced. You and your fiance are in the car at your ex's house? Make it make sense. It's because you'll just end up looking like a doe face, um, says she with the cartoon jawline. Jay Leno? Is it given Jay Leno? Grand Rising, how are you? Oh my God, it is eight o'clock. And actually, oh, it's 8.23. I am plugged into work. I wanna do an IG post before I put on my clothes. How are you doing? If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, what's up, hotties? It snowed last night. I'll show you in a second. I'm not going out there because sis, do I look like Al Roker? Mm -mm. I don't have shoes on. <laughs> um, But yeah, I hope that you are well. Thanks for clicking on the channel. Shout out to our member, Red Blonde Chick. If you're interested in joining, hit the join button down below. Hopefully, I don't know, I, this is probably going to go up next Monday. So Tasha, you and I probably did our Google Meet together, our uh, member Google Meet. I will post something in the member on the member tab um, to see if Saturday or Sunday works better for you. Maybe we'll do like a Sunday at 11. I feel like that might be our jam, but you let me know. Anyway, I wanted to say good morning. I slept well. I have my retainers on. I did a full day. I took yesterday off from YouTube, but I did a full day of content on IG. I was doing my facial. I did... Um, Oh, you know what? I should make shorts over here. I got to get in the habit of making shorts for you guys. I, by the time you see this, I probably went back and posted it because I do have the footage so I can post some of the micro needling here on YouTube on the shorts. But I did that yesterday. I did a very, I used first a nano needle and I did the majority of the work with that, which it's um, much, 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 much smaller. And I did that to help the needles are smaller, sorry if I'm not making sense. The needles are much smaller, like slimmer, and they're more compact, like they're closer together in the grid. And so it's good for serum distribution. So I did the majority of my face with the, well, I did all of my face with the nano needle, and then I put the serum on, and then I went back and did a 12 pin with a little bit deeper, 2.5, I think. Millimeters? I can't be right. That's as long as my lash. No, it must be because the lashes are eight millimeters, right? So maybe it is two, two point five, whatever it is. It, it's deeper into the dermis. So then I did that, and then I did a bunch of. Oh, I put this mask over here. I did a mask. Uh, I did two masks. I did one collagen sheet mask, and then this. So it has that ampule in it. I put that all over my face and then you put this mask. This is also a sheet mask, but it's two. So that was my first time. I liked it. It felt luxurious. Two meaning two pieces. The, the top that goes like to here and then the bottom that goes down to here. It fits my face much better than like a single piece sheet mask. Because I let, look at my forehead, y'all. Look at my forehead. That's big. Um, I don't think that my lips are big, but in those other sheet masks, I have to end up like this. Right? So they're small. They're small. A child could put those on. Uh, I lost a few lashes. You're not supposed to get your lashes wet in the first two days, like water on them. And I, I think I got, I think I got some. Anyway, let me get this um, Instagram post done. And then, yeah, I'll be back. I'm trying a new serum today. Um, it says to give it a four week run. It's called number seven. I got it from Derm Store. I'll link it. I don't even know if you could see that. Yeah, I'll link it in the description box below. But it says it promises results in four weeks. So this is going to be our day one photo. We'll see. 
All right, after all that pain, I feel like there was a little bit of payoff. I don't even know if you can see it, but there is hair growing. I mean, it's obviously, it's like buds. It's going to take a minute for it to grow, but it's actually, there's actually some movement there. Like, I don't know if you see the little peach fuzz. So I'm, I feel like there's promise. I feel like it's hope. There's hope. Um, so yeah. And then I, I think I told you guys I ordered the Nutrafol, the one the nutrition inside. So when that gets here, I'll yeah, I did tell you because I told you there was actually a, a better one that I could have gotten, but I got the women's one. Anyway, listen, I'm going to take my shot. I'm going to take my shot. We'll see. Biohacking is not for the faint of heart. I'm going to tell you right. that. I have my consultation tomorrow at 6.30 with Beauty Fix. I'm going to see about Kybella shots for the jowls. Remember, I was going to go to Dr. Halem, but hers are, I think they're $1,300 a vial. And I believe Beauty Fix is $700 a vial. So I can get two vials. You know how to do math <laughs> for the price I want. So anyway, we'll see. Um, I need to know, like... Who's injecting? Is it a doctor? Is it a nurse? Which type of nurse if it's a nurse? You know, listen, I am not trying to be in nobody's ER and I'm not trying to be in nobody's morgue in behind some dialysis. Oh my God, so I finally finished filming the reel. Uh, it took a couple takes for each piece and now I got to edit it together. Lord Jesus, it's been about two hours to do this. Um, I mean, not continuously, obviously. I'm trying to do it while I'm working. But oh my God. Um, yeah, and now I was my last shot was in the cold on the terrace. It looked good, but baby, my nose started watering. My eyes started watering. And um, yeah. Oh my God. So I moosed my baby hairs today instead of using the um, Miracle Edge that it turned white in the pot. It was clear. And then it started turning white on my hair, which was making it look like I have gray hairs. I don't. I mean, if I did, I would claim it. Like I have a couple in here, but this was making it look like I, all of my roots were gray and like I have been dying my hair. But yeah, it switched up in the pot. Like, I don't know if you guys, yeah, you could see, like, at the top up here, in there, it's still a little clear, but most of it turned white. I mean, obviously, it's, it, since it was time for a new pot anyway. Honey, it's supposed to be good to the last drop. So, I think maybe I wasn't putting the lid on tight enough. Because uh, I'd be like, oh, my finish, I don't, anyway, uh, I think that's it. Because that's my second pot, and it didn't happen to the first one, so... I need to order some more of that and some more of the coconut milk. Anyway, the milkshake. Um, I watched. I was watching this YouTube video. I don't even know the lady's name. I was going to call her a chick, but I'm not going to be disrespectful. Uh, I don't know her name. But she was basically, first of all, she's a woman of color. She's a black woman. Um, let me say it like that. I have a tangent about. Anyway, um, let me say one point at a time. Or one tangent at a time, as it were. She basically was like telling people not to get lashes that were too thick or too exaggerated. You know, you're just a regular woman. You're not on TV. Uh, even some of these YouTubers are uh, YouTubers are overdoing it. But since they are on TV, anyway, the lashes were on the hit list, and baby hairs was on the hit list, and that's where I drew the line. Now I've never been a fan of one. I couldn't be a fan if I wanted to because I don't have enough lashes to go crazy at the lash place. But it's always a negotiation of how full we can get it. Which I like what she did. These look super natural. Focus, focus. Okay, but the baby hairs. You didn't check with me and my forehead, sis. Hold up. 
hold up. Now, these women had on, the ones that she flashed up had on wigs that had the baby hair, which I think they kind of need that. I don't know. Don't give me no line on nobody's wig. But if the wig wearers can have them, I can have them. And I'm banning this woman and her ban on my baby hairs because, baby, the baby hairs is what gets me to down to a five head. Come on, sis. Come on. Come on. Show your girl some love. Oh, my other tangent was, I'm going to start specifying when I mean black people versus people of color, because I think some people think that means colored people. Like, you know how black people used to be called colored people? Because did you see Mitch McConnell when he was like, someone asked him a question about people of color. And then he said, Afri African Americans have as many rights to vote as Americans. What? You're disenfranchising people of color from voting. African Americans have the same rights to vote as Americans. One more reason why I don't identify as African American because it just enforces, it enforces white supremacy. And I saw my mom sent me a thing where they, somebody had called Elon Musk an African American and people went off on him. Well, he is. He's from South Africa and he's in America. He is by definition an African American. So it shouldn't be black or African American as a checkbox. Sister, I'm black. I was born black. I'm a die black. I'm black, black, and some more black. What you heard. Okay, let me sit down and get to work, girl. Ooh, I just got off a call. I had to put some bass in my voice. I'm asking them. I'm telling. I'm relaying information from leadership from our. I mean, we're all leadership, but you know what I mean, like above us leadership, uh, above my pay grade, and they're giving me so much heat. So I was like, listen, I'm. I'm not a. It's, this is butter again. I'm not a butter whisperer. And they started laughing, and I was like, yeah, you guys are giving me all this heat, and you know I can't take all this energy to butter. So simmer down. Don't be abusing me. Or record it so I can give it to him and you can bring that heat directly to the butter. And butter is so cool, he don't melt. So y'all, I don't think you want to bring him that heat. You going to be leaving feeling some type of way. Anyway, that happened. And then I got rescheduled. I was going to do a video consult tomorrow for my Kybella. Because, you know, at all these places, you have to have a consult first. Although... When I went to Alchemy 43, my consult and my procedure, like they knew it was going to be on the same day. So I just asked this young lady, Brianna, who's super nice, like, can you just go ahead and schedule me for the procedure like right after? Because I'm getting injectables like right after. So my consult's at 530. Oh, and they were only doing in-person consults. Like I was trying to do a video. Anyway, so obviously if you do a video, you are not having the procedure right after. So I said, can you just schedule me right after? So six o'clock, I'm getting, hopefully I'm getting approved to do Kybella. It's for this right here for the gels. And then next week we're doing um, Kybella here with the all therapy for my double chin. So, and then after that is, it takes a while to see those results. Like some patients had three months, some patients had six months. So, and I guess Kybella, like, you can have multiple injections within a 12 week period and then you have to take a break or something. I don't know, I ain't trying to do all that. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to see the results. And so I wanted to do filler, but not until I see my results, right? Because I feel like if they put in filler now, they're gonna put in extra filler to compensate, to straighten out my jawline for this. And I don't, I just don't want my face to look real heavy. So I just want a sharp line. You know what I mean? I don't want a like cartoon jaw. So they might try it. Anyway, we're good to go now. Grand Rising, how are you? I just did my um, facial serum and all that. I'm about to ice it. Well, I'm gonna, I have my jade rollers and my quartz roller. Well, I have two rollers. One is a jade, one is a quartz. Both of them are in the refer in the freezer. I'm gonna roll it on my face. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of Zyrtec because I have a wee bit of inflammation, but I remember last time I just wanna nip it in the bud. So the inflammation is good. It means that the microneedling worked and it's healing from the inflammation. I just don't wanna look like I'm inflamed, if that makes sense. And I'm getting my Kybella, so I don't wanna scare the lady. Um, but yeah, I think we're in good shape. And my hair is hella oiled down, if you're wondering why it looks like that. This is proof that oil does not hold, does not have moisture in it. My hair is so slick. Honey, I could fill up a... I'm not gonna say that. It's a lot of oil in my hair, but it did not revert to curls. I had it in, um, 
French braids. And so that's where you're getting the waves from. But that's why I always use oil as a sealant and not as a moisturizer. So for any of my curly hair girls, it is not a moisturizer, it is a sealant. So when you're doing that LOC, I do LCO. Oil is last to seal in all of the juicy moisture that you put in there. So the L is the leave-in or some type of liquid and then the C is the conditioner and then the O is the oil. That is how I've had um, good retention success. All right, I'm in a meeting. As you can tell, this is my third meeting, but I hadn't opened the vlog and I wanted to say good morning, Grand Rising. Two degrees in here but I am freezing anyway I'm getting ready to do yoga I'm gonna do this one um, by yoga with bird 10 minutes yoga full body stretch for stiff bodies uh, and then I'm gonna have my oatmeal I started with I am freezing because I'm gonna do my yoga in my down vest and I still have my little uh, booties on because I'm cold Baby. but we're gonna get it done
it is 12 15. it's oatmeal time say, of 12 30. oh cassandra you're not gonna be taking me through an hour long yoga not on a weekday sis unless i get up at five o'clock but anyway um so yeah that i don't know what's happening with my hair situation i just was trying to get it pulled up it was sticking in my face because it's oily and my face is oily. Um, well, you know, it's sticky from the serum. I don't want to say oily. Don't panic. I'm not over here clogging up my pores. Okay, let me, I already um, thawed the berries and I did, I did one round of warming with the oatmeal. I knew I was going to do yoga, so I didn't want to have it actually all the way cooked. So I'm going to add a little bit more milk, stir it up, and then <sighs> microwave it. <laughs> you counting my cavities? You can't because they're all white. Oh. Anyway, I don't know why I was that close. Let me get this going. Clearly, I'm in a silly mood. Oh my God, you see how my girls are surrounding me during the um, meeting? Like, oh my God, am I in trouble? Am I in danger? Or look, Liberty, I moved her up here. And she's still like, you can't sit in my lap. I wanted to tell you guys too. So we have a morning, a stand-up. They call it a stand-up, like 15 minutes. We go around the world. Um, with our SVP, Butter. Now, remember I told you yesterday how they were giving me all this heat and I was like, you know, I cannot take this energy back to butter. You need to calm down. Well, one of the people who was on that call with me yesterday is on this meeting today and, and butter announces that he wants this initiative. And so I raised my hand and say, you know, you mentioned this to me last week. So I already met with the ops managers and explained to them. So I just want to talk to my manager first before I um, present the workflow the recommended workflow to you. And I almost, almost, almost was about to be a petty LaBelle and say, oh, and who sh what should we call this one? Donkey. And say, oh, well, Donkey was very passionate about why we shouldn't do this. But I was like, let me hold on, Petty. Hold on, Petty. Don't sing no songs, Petty LaBelle. Um... So I didn't, but I think the message was clear that now they know from the horse's mouth that butter is on board, which I just am like, as leaders, you guys are giving me this, this heat. Do your people give you heat like this when you tell them to do something? Like, I don't understand as leaders, how are you like, are you refusing to do this? Is that what you want me to go back? Because it's nothing, it's never going to come out of my mouth to go back and say, we can't do this because they said we can't like. I'm an 800 pound gorilla. I'm swinging all day. So it, it's going to get done, guys. But maybe that's why they give me that energy because they know I'm going to get it done. By hook or by crook, you know? We we get paid to do this, y'all. This is, this is not for giggles. We get paid. <laughs> if you don't like the job, I hear there's jobs out there. In all seriousness, though, I just was like... I feel there's a constructive way to voice your concerns uh, without all the attitude. I, I just, I don't get the attitude. Like, whew, take the emotion out. Let's look at this from a logical, practical thing, right? Because we're at work. Take the emotion out. Let's just come up with what the workflow is. Because I don't know how much you guys know. Like, I don't know what you do, obviously. But if there's like, if you think of, you know, like Vizio, where you work out workflows or processes... It is time agnostic. So you don't build the time into the process. So when people are telling me time, 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 like I just let them know time is not a part of the process. Um, is it inconsequential to the process? Maybe. But you just need to know what the steps are to document the process and the workflow. There's no place on there for duration. So I was trying to get them through the workflow and they just kept telling me well, we don't have time. Okay, well, let's just, if, you know, if time is not a factor, because it's not in a workflow, how would we get this done? Anyway, 
Um, I'm meeting with my manager tomorrow. I was asking her if she wanted to meet earlier, but she was like, no. So I just simmered down and I just gave her the notes. Like that donkey was very punchy about it and blah, blah, blah. So, oh my God, I put this Arnica on. I don't know if I showed you guys that part. Before I started, I pressed the Arnica into my skin with the roller. I think I'm going to do a cool pad. It doesn't feel warm over here, but it looks red when I'm looking at you guys and now in this mirror. Um, Wait, let me push. Yeah. So sometimes my, the coloring on my glasses, the shading casts um, pink on my face, but that's not from the glasses. So that's purely from inflammation. So yeah, I'm going to have to put on my sunscreen anyway, which has tint in it. So I don't want to scare this woman when I go in there, but my cheekbones look awfully. I'm actually not mad at the inflammation. I'm just mad at the coloring because look at that cheekbone, sis. Mm. That is a good cheekbone. Okay, 50. This is 50. Mm-mm. Okay. Where? Who? I'm not even going. I'm not even going to pretend. I'm not trying to not claim my age. This is what 50 looks like, sis. This is it. Let's normalize it. <laughs> oh, my God. The dryer's running. We're going to go over here and talk loud. I just got off a call. I'm going to do a panel at work in March about YouTube, about making money on YouTube, what it's like to be black on the platform. I want to talk about money. I want everybody to level up because there's a lot of creative people where I work. NBC Universal, it's a media company, obviously. A lot of us end up there because we have creative backgrounds, even though we're not doing creative things at the job. Like, I'm in operations, the least creative thing, but I support the creative people so they can do their job, right? So they can be creative. But obviously, I still have a creative energy and so that's i get to exercise it on youtube and um instagram which i'm having fun coming up with reels it's a little challenging um as far as the technical part but hey operations come through anyway i'm excited i'm gonna run my bath i have it like an hour i gotta get dressed um so that i can walk out of here at 4 45 for my face situation so i'm gonna i'm gonna Finish running my bath water. You all gonna come with me. We gonna turn the bath water back on. I just did a little layer of super hot before the meeting and now I'm gonna just add some more water. And then I don't have another meeting until in an hour. Let me just tell Google and I'll, I'll be back girl cause I'm all over the place, but I'm excited I'm gonna do a panel. And I'm trying to get two other YouTubers There's, that I watch, Winter and Khadija. I'll link them down below. They do commentary. They are two dark skin black women and they talk about colorism racism um how the algorithm does not favor us how khadija tested it out when she launched her channel she didn't have her image in any of the thumbnails and then how people would comment on her like they were surprised they, but they'd be like oh she's so beautiful you're so beautiful like they were taken aback yeah chocolate women are beautiful like what <laughs> i mean not to take anything away from her beauty she obviously is beautiful but it was almost as if they were surprised that she was dark and beautiful which i just think is crazy but anyway we got to talk about this stuff so if people have a bias they can we can turn that light on you know anyway <laughs> i say anyway that we're gonna stop saying that for 2022 y'all check me on it all right so my three o'clock it's 303 um he would like to reschedule the meeting he was like uh he was like oh let's schedule it. so i said oh i'll schedule it he said let's reschedule it i offered and he said yeah let's do it for next week. And then I said, I can do it for the week after I can't do next week. He was like, oh, next week is better for me because, well, it's not better for me. Like what happened to asking? Like, does that work for you? Can we do blah, blah, blah. That's, I asked him, do you want me to schedule it for next week uh, or the week after next? And then he redirects me back to, so then I've just, no, next week is not good for me. Just like you're telling me now into the meeting, this is not good. Next week is not good. I'm, I'm going to be gracious and give you over a week's notice. <sighs> Do you guys, ha does anybody else deal with that? It was something else. Oh, the video, it already posted. You guys have already seen it where I was scheduling in the interviews and then the actor guy is telling me um, to call him the next day at 11. He doesn't ask me, are you available? He was like, oh, 11, because that's good for me in my time zone. Well, it's not good for me in my time zone. What happened to asking? Are you available? What is with these men? Or am I doing it wrong? Should I just like bogart people's calendars? Liberty is trying to make her presence known. Girl, I'm about to get down. I don't know why you, every time I sit down, I'm about to get down now that this is canceled because it works out. I can go get my face done. I'm dressed. Uh, well, mostly dressed. I have on my, well, yeah, I have on my like house booties. Uh, I don't have on jewelry and all that. I do have my fragrance on. I'm smelling real good if I do say so myself. Mm. 
Um, yeah, but I'm gonna go put on my face cream, uh, the BB cream with the tint on it. And uh, I think that's really all I wanna do. My swelling is mostly down. It's a little bit of a hump right here. But, oh, I know. Okay, so what time do we need to leave here? Let's look at that, because we gotta get over there. It's on the east side, so it's not too far, but my official appointment is, I think I need to be there at five. So I need to walk out of here at 4.30. So in 30 minutes, I'm gonna take two uh, prednisone, two Tylenol, a, what are, what are those little things? Zyrtec and five of the Arnica, just to prep um, in advance for the possibility of swelling. Hopefully it's not. I don't even know if they actually are gonna do it because now I'm looking at their website. The dermatologist was the one who said she would do it in my jowls. The lady who's doing my chin will not. She said she'll only do it an injection in the, t in the chin and the all therapy. So I'm trying to see if they'll do my jowls. Like you see this part right here? That's fat. Like, I'm gonna press it up for you. It's fat. I want them to. Yeah, I got old lady fat rolls. I want them to zap that. So hopefully they'll do it. So the consultation is at 5 30, and the actual appointment is at 6. I just told her, just let's book me in case, you know, just let's book me because I should be approved and then I don't have to come back. Because originally we were gonna do a virtual. And I had a nail that popped off, and this one wants to come off. I'm gonna glue these back down. Because I can't just be out of the house with, we can't be out of the house, raggedy sis. I was planning on doing my whole set tonight, but with this, with those freshly glued, I'll probably wait till tomorrow. Anyway, problems of a future baddie. Let me get going. <laughs> Excuse the ceiling, but that way you can see my head. I am, it's 4.19, I'm finished. I have to join at 4.30. I'm gonna join it, I think, in the car. I need to get out of here. Um, it's on the east side, I just have to cross over. It shouldn't be too bad. As long as I get out of here no later than 4.40, because that's ahead of the five o'clock traffic, I should be good. I um, actually, oh, you're on my phone. I was gonna say I should check just to make sure that it's five o'clock and not 5.30. There may be an update. Anyway, I'm laying my baby hairs down. I'm going to pencil them in, pin them in with this henna pin on the end. That's why I'm this, this hair growth situation. We are in need of some results. Okay, I'm getting ready to take my meds. That was why I wanted to show you guys. So I'm taking um, 40 milligrams of prednisone. I'm going to take two Tylenol, um, one Zyrtec, and five of the Arnica which is good for swelling and bruising. So, and then when I get home, I don't know why I put this full beat. I was like, oh, I can make contact, but I don't, uh, content for IG, but I don't even know how much I'm gonna swell. And I gotta put that thing on my face, so we'll see. It may not actually swell till tomorrow. Remember when I had my lips done, it didn't immediately swell. Well, late into the night, like right before bedtime, but I had been laying down, it started swelling. Um, We'll see. Um, Zyrtec is in two pregnancies. I need to call the pharmacy. I'll call them tomorrow to get that refilled. Or, you know what? 
Yeah, let's just call them tomorrow. Let's let's not be team too much. This is a new bottle of Tylenol that I got just for these treatments. If anybody's gonna tell me Advil and ibuprofen is better for inflammation, I have one kidney. I have one kidney. I cannot take Advil. I cannot take ibuprofen. Um, I can't have any insides. So I'm taking Tylenol. Tylenol is good for pain relief too. So I'm gonna take two. Oh lord, these look fancy. I hope these are not PMs. Oh no, they're rapid release. Okay. You see that? This. I'm gonna take these. The five Arnica I take sublingually, so I just they're really tiny. And the guy, when I got my lips done, is the one who told me about this one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them three times a day for five days. It's going to be for six days because today is day zero. So I'm taking these sublingually. While these dissolve, I'm going to go get that damn nail and glue it back on. <laughs> Okay, that is on there. These, again, I'm not worried about because I'm taking them off, but I just don't want it to look... Uh, I mean, if you get up close, they don't look great, but you can see a missing nail from far away. So... There. But they, they got me through two weeks, so that's good. Uh, it's a little more challenging because they had they didn't have the um, gloss finish, they had the matte finish. So that's a note to myself. Although the ones that I'm putting on next also have a matte, but I think they're cute. It's a French with a matte. But now that I know that going in, putting them on, I'm going to take more time to finesse them and, and let them look good from the jump. I mean, these looked great from the jump, but I wasn't sure how they were going to wear. And so I had the... I've, I have done redone the tips in white, but um, like see this one, the paint is off and I don't have that color. So um, yeah, the other ones are nude and white. So if something trips, I can do that. And before I had the black and the white, which I have black paint, I have white paint or lacquer if you're in the UK or elsewhere. But these were fun and they had the bow. I did find where... Ugh, that prednisone is disgusting. I'm gonna have to chew. I'm gonna have to take a bar with me. Just so they don't have, I don't have an empty stomach. I had my lunch, I broke my fast, um, like 12, 30, 1 o'clock, I had the oatmeal. It's 4.26, I don't have time to eat, but I'm gonna get a bar. Okay, I have, we'll say seven minutes. I gotta fix this. I'm gonna do an updo in the back. This, like I said, is laying my baby hairs down. I needed to dry the mousse um, so they would lay flat. So hopefully that works out and then I'll pencil this in. So by the time you see me again, I should be dressed and ready to be out the door or I might even be in the Uber. You know how we do. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, yes, there is my little stalker. 5.30 is the first appointment, 5.30. So I have time. I got time today, cuz. I got time. Or I got time today, hotties. I got time. I was laughing earlier because the thing is called Beauty Fix. Because remember I said I wasn't going to really do a beat. And then I was like, oh, I kind of want to do a beat. Like, I don't... Um, or the place is called Beauty Fix, but the treatment is called Face Fix. And I was like, do I need my face fixed? I don't... Let me put some makeup on so she don't really think I need my face fixed. Like, that's y'all's name, but I'm not claiming it. But it, then it reminded me of NeNe Leaks. Fix your face, you guys remember that? Fix your face. So I'm I'm going, Nene. I'm going. I'm going to fix my face. <laughs> Not that I got time. Child, I've been watching. I don't know if you guys watched the lead attorneys. The Tasha K unwind with Tasha K got sued by Cardi B, which Cardi called her the blogger lady. So it's been three years in the making. Baby, they just broke Cardi off about five mil. I don't know why Tasha didn't settle. And she's on record trying to extort Cardi. Cardi asked her to take the things down. She said, I'll only take them down if you pay me. Um, That's extortion. That's extortion. So how much does she have to pay you? Now she pay you. And then as soon as you broke, you put them back up. She has to pay you some more. No, sis. Just take them down. 
I hope I hope she made at least five million off those videos because at least you know I mean she's still not gonna break even because she has to pay her attorney she would need uh but I think she only paid like her Cardi B's attorney fees were like 1.25 and you know if you lose a lawsuit you have to pay the other person's attorney's fees well maybe you don't know that's why it's, you got to be quick about who you're going to... I mean, you got to think. Don't be too quick about who you're going to sue, who you're not going to sue about behind your rights. Um, but I felt it. Like, Cardi, you know, she said she had depression. Um, people were, like, heckling her. if She kissed her babies because I guess, you know... Well, I'm not going to repeat the foolishness of what was said against her. But she came with receipts. Uh, she came with receipts. I am not mad. Between this and the Grams and Lily situation, um, with... Graham's breaking into Lily's house, but you engaged to somebody else. Like, I don't understand, sis. I hope Lily can get away. It's giving me scorned woman vibes. Or I'm trying to think of what's that show? Angry Women? It's a show on... Because it's not... It's the opposite of, like, For My Man. When the women just start killing up people, I just feel like somebody's going to die. Like, it's just one of those things. And it's all recorded. Um... Because she came into her house in the middle of the night. And they had a gun... But the gun was in the car. The people that, oh my God, B and Lily. B had a gun, and but it was in the car. So she would have had to go outside. What if the gun was handy and she just went to open fire? You know what I mean? And she would be okay because you are somewhere you're not meant to be. You didn't broke in, snuck in, however you want to say it. You're not supposed to be there. And then you're egging cars and you live in a different state. So like, did you drive? From the other state with the eggs in the car at 34? With your girlfriend, allegedly. And your sister, potentially, allegedly. And then, or did you get to the state, see B's car outside, and then go to the store and get the eggs? Either way, eggs in New York right now is like $6 a dozen. I'm not putting eggs on nobody's car. Never mind age or anything else. Like, just out of common sense. Then add on that you're grown. You are a grown woman. And you are engaged. You and your fiancé. You are fianced. You and your fiancé are in the car at your ex's house? Make it make sense. Sis, make it make sense. Golly. And yet you're on the channel talking about Lily is mentally deranged. Um, projection. I'm not a therapist, but damn. I would recommend you get one, sis. I would recommend... Okay, it's 4.31. Let me quit capping and um, go finish it. I'm trying to make a messy bun. I don't know if you guys can see it. But my hair is so thin. I'm trying to... I got to play with it, like, finesse it a little bit. I don't even know if I'm catching y'all. Wait a minute. Let's do this with the mirror. To at least see if I'm getting the shot. Um, yeah, you guys can see the back. So I am, hi, I am going to try to finesse it, give it a little bit of body. It's oils down, so I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to do. Um, I was thinking about teasing it, but then, one, I'm not a tease. <laughs> Two, what if I tango up on my hair and then we got a situation? Anyway, let me stop talking to y'all. I love you though. Let me get ready. All right, I'm still watching the lead attorney, but I wanted to show you my outfit. Let's see if I can get this right. I got on a sweater, this vest, these, uh, this is brown, and this brown heathered fleece pants, and my boots. So I'm giving, you know, I might be going to the ski slope later. And then I'm going to put on my brown suede jacket with the fur and my cashmere wrap that I'm going to wear as a scarf today. So I think we're good to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get my face fixed. <laughs> Fix your face. I got blessings falling on me. I got weapons lean on me. That light Tetris, you don't know me. That my fatty, you don't know me. Oh. Alright, guys, I just had my console. They do um, inject it. We're not gonna do Kybella, it's something else, but it's in the same family. Um, she's just checking to see if the injector here actually does the gel, so fingers crossed. But so far, so good. A lot less expensive than Dr. Halem. So. 
can't go wrong. <laughs> oh my God, girl, they are not playing. They really trying to fix my face. They are talking about cheek filler, uh, jawline filler. The, there's gonna be laxity, which I know there's gonna be laxity, but I'm getting all therapy to get it tightened up. But I just, this little thing, I don't want to have that. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I do. I'm not trying to rush it though. Yeah, 91724. And your name is Anna? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Russia. Oh, nice. Where in Russia? Uh, from this house, like Mongolia. Okay. I love your accent. I love my accent. Yeah. I have the today girl, and she's from London. And that's my credit, I love her. Because I love British accents. Oh, no, I like, depending, some of the British accents. No, she, like she speaks like this thing. The perfect, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not doing it here, so. I'm just taking it here. <laughs> I didn't realize the buckle fat was that far down. Buckle fat is, is here. Okay. Uh, How does it feel? Is it pulling? It feels, yeah, tight. Mm -hmm. um, like it's going that way. Down? Yes, downward. Okay. So, uh, let's see how many syringes. Okay. Um, I don't understand why this chip so much bigger the filler here is. i think this is not the filler i think it's the um from the micro needling i think there was like a little bit of irritation because uh -huh. there was uh i think it was like a deeper uh because this ship like just looks so big to it i think it's the um okay so because there was more scarring the depth is deeper and here was like a 2.5 um okay so i feel like we need some filler here uh, I need, uh, you definitely don't need anything, I, th I think that these cheeks, are not, I'm not crazy about these cheeks, so we'll need to work around them to make them a bit more balanced. Okay, maybe we wait until the swelling goes down. Uh, um, from my granny, no, we definitely we cannot do anything now, I mean, first of all, you're, we did that. Second of all, no, sure, we need to wait till this okay. becomes absolute. Okay. No, we're not doing it. I'm just, I'm just, you asked me how many syringes, so I'm kind of like talking. Hi, girls, did you miss me? Hi. Hi, oh my God. Okay, okay. Hi, Anna. All right, I'm home, you guys. I am so disappointed. I just looked at the footage in the car, and I didn't hit play when she was doing the injections. I... 
kept the camera rolling after she marked it and I set it down. I thought I turned it off. So when I lifted it back up to turn it on, I turned it off. So anyway, but you guys have seen me get injected before. The most important is that you got to see the injection site. So I'm going to show you. It's already swelling here. Wait, let's, let me get my coat off and then I'll show you guys real fast. Hold on. Ah, oh my God. So there, oh, I should have got the little light. You can see it's very swollen. Um, my initial thoughts on it are it is, it's tightening and it's pulling, it feels like it's pulling down and it's tight. Um, they said the swelling is going to be, that I should expect a lot of swelling tomorrow, which is, makes sense because I did that with, uh, when I did the lip filler. Now I kind of wish I would have done a separate vlog on just this, but I could do a video on it later and just use some of this footage. So this is where she did the injections. She said it's part of the buckle fat, which I always thought buckle fat was up here, um, which it is, she said, but there's a little bit down here, which is okay. I, let me tell you, let me sit down. We're friends, we could talk in the bathroom. The lady, the consult lady was trying to upsell everything, which is why I came in there and I was like, oh, they're really trying to fix my face. Luckily, I know what I want. I know what my aesthetic is. And so, and I was telling the lady who was doing myself, I don't want to look like a pillow face with a bunch of filler because they were saying cheek and jawline, which I was down for the jawline. I already had cheek filler, but they're saying doing it at the same time so that they could bring it into symmetry. That's fine. Everybody's trying to upsell. But the lady was kind of flipped when I was like, oh, something I said I didn't want. She was like, oh, well, you'll have to have surgery in five years. Like, no, I, I, what do I have to do? Two things, stay black and die. That's it. Yeah, but she was suggesting Anna, who was my injector, like no more masseter Botox, which I was thinking that anyway, because I feel like it laxed my skin too much. So I know this is hella swollen, but I don't hate it. Like, I mean, it's too big for my face. Like I'm just saying, I'm seeing past the swelling and into the future and I don't hate it. I don't, I'm not mad. Uh, I felt that way about my lips too. So the masseter, I was, see this, I can show you guys there. It's, we gotta not, I gotta not do the masseter again because then it is making this hollow part and that would have to be filled in, which doesn't make sense. So uh, I go back to see Anna in three weeks just to see how I like it. I am going to wipe off all my makeup. She alcoholed it down. Like I really should have no makeup down here, but I think I'm just gonna... Well, I guess I don't need to do that. Let me just get this part clean. She cleaned it, but I'm going to clean it again. She cleaned it with alcohol. I'm going to clean it with like a jungle soap. And then I'm going to slather that in Arnica. I am going to roller it with the cold rollers that I was using last night. And then I'm going to put on the face compression. Yeah, so I should just take all my makeup off, right? Um, although I'm kind of liking my eyes. I don't know. I'm being lazy too. I want to get to it. Roller it, put the compression on, and then she gave me two little, well, I showed you guys with the lips. I'm going to put the lips on either side inside the compression and see what it do. I already had, uh, I went in with the Tylenol and the Arnica pills and the prednisone, so I was already armed up for swelling. So if you don't have all that going in, you might have more swelling. That's all. I'm just saying all that to say, but yeah. definitely does not look like I have jowls. Oh, that was the other thing. She was trying to sell me on more filler, Tico, because she was like, this, once the fat is gone, the skin is going to droop. But I was like, no, because I'm getting all therapy and that snatches the skin back up. Plus I do, I didn't tell her that, but I do microneedling, which also tightens the skin. I know it does because I've been doing it now. I've had five sessions of microneedling, five sessions. Um, from my favorite SD. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. But I did do five sessions at home. So, laxity. That's what I was going to say. Oh, my God. So, I'm not worried about, like, droopy skin. But, of course, she's trying to upsell. And I think some people probably go in there a little insecure. And that's how they end up overfilled or over whatever or uninformed. But I... Ma'am, I'm an informed consumer. I did a lot of research. So I know that all therapy is going to be better for skin laxity and not a bunch of fillers because you'll just end up looking like a doe face, um, says she with the cartoon jawline. I feel like I'm on that. What is it? Where they go to the bar and hang out and they live in hog pog, hog something. They have a little kid that family guy. I feel like the one, the guy who's in the wheelchair, who's like, oh, I feel like I have his jaw. 
But yeah, it just feels like tight and pulling. That's what you guys care about. Tight and pulling. It doesn't hurt outside of that. Um, the injections didn't hurt, but I'm an OG uh, with the injections. I've been going through uh, infertility treatment since 2017, so there will be needles. Yeah. My skin is looking good, though. I will say that microneedling is on point, sis. The skin is looking good. Good skin, good skin. Yeah. So the lady was shocked at the number of treatments that I had. So she said, before you come and get your um, cheeks in the jaw, I need you to not have anything done the two weeks before. Because I told her I had the microneedling, and then I said, next week I'm doing dermabrasion with the... Um, RF radio frequency and she confirmed the radio frequency helps with collagen induction she said it's actually next level from microneedling so I'm like oh so I did see a microneedling with RF that I want to try like if that is um if RF is the um for the collagen induct in induction um do you know they got the mask that I had on I came back in a paper mask because I picked it up at the place and they're fighting over it. Let me go give my girl some attention, y'all. And let me get my situation together. Oh, I'll probably come back one more time. This is what I look like in 4K. It is 7.52. I am about to apply Arnica gel with this right here. I just took two more Tylenol and five... I don't know. It's on low power. I got to charge the phone. But I just took two Tylenol and the five of the Arnica tab. It definitely is larger than when I first got in here. I wiped off all of my face makeup so I can put Arnica everywhere. And then um, let me charge this phone. Let me get this going. I will check in with you guys in an hour at 8.53. All right. It's been an hour. I'm going to take this off. About 20 minutes ago, I switched out the ice cushions uh, just because they had melted. So we'll see what we're looking at. It was swollen 20 minutes ago, so I expect it to still be swollen. Okay. It looks like I have the mumps. So I am going to... Um, these done whole heat, but they were good for like 20 minutes. These are the lip ones, although these are kind of skimpy. Whatever. I am going to do the jade roller. I think I'm going to do the jade roller, and then I'm not going to put this back on. I'm going to give it a break. I'll sleep in it tonight. We'll see how that feels with my um, Invisaligns. Yeah, we'll sleep in this, but uh, yeah, it still feels tight. I'm watching that chapter if you guys hear it in the background. The thing about all of these procedures, whether you're doing like a medical procedure or a surgical procedure, is the aftercare, right? So I just want to be diligent about my aftercare. Um, actually, I can't tell the difference. I'm going to go back and look at the footage. Here, let me do it. I'm going to step over here. I'll do it um, side by side. So that over there will be the before. And this will be the now. And everything gets a break until next week, Wednesday, when I do my um, dermabrasion. So, oh no. What am I saying? Dermabrasion is Friday. I don't know why I keep getting that mixed up. Dermabrasion is Friday. The Kybella and the Old Therapy is Wednesday. Not tomorrow, but next week, Wednesday. I'm editing right now. I think I'm going to do daily vlogs so I can get caught up because they're like ending up being 30 minutes a day. I don't know. I think I got to do like 20 minutes each day to do um, a weekly vlog. Or what do we say? A three day? I'm still figuring it out. Just turn on your post notifications so you don't miss. But yeah, I say all that to say I'm making dinner. Well, I'm gonna close this vlog out for tonight. I'm making dinner and I have a couple things. I got from the drum store, I got from Teamy, and uh, I just wanna open those. But I'm doing, I made rice, and then I'm gonna do the pre-cooked chicken that I got from Fresh Direct, the grilled rosemary, and I'm gonna make asparagus with that. So I just have to heat the chicken and the, Asparagus. asparagus is in a steam bag, but I think I'm gonna bake it. Like, 
last time I steamed it, it was like chewy, stringy. I didn't like it. I'm gonna bake it. So I'm gonna put them all on a cookie sheet with a rack. I'll show you. Let's let's get in there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do chicken breast because one of them is kind of small and I didn't eat my second meal of the day. So this is gonna be meal two and three. I have the asparagus here. And there was another chicken breast. It's, I'm gonna save that for lunch tomorrow. Maybe put it on a salad. Rice is already done. I'm just gonna throw this in the oven for 20, I don't know. Let's do 20 minutes and see what it's given. There we go. Did you see that movie, Shallow How? That's our nigga on my face. That's what I feel like right now. Like they put a fat suit on me. I cannot, I can barely see my dimple. It's right there where that little shadow is. There's not one on that side. So, oh, uh, what have I done? It's just like with the lips, you're always like, what happened? It's 12 o'clock right now. So I'm awake because I had that prednisone. Oh my God. Did I take prednisone before the appointment? I need to go back and look at the footage or did I just take it this morning? I think I did. I didn't take it when I got back. I think I did. I think I sat here and took the pre yeah, the prednisone, the Zyrtec, Tylenol, and um, you can't even tell. Like I, my body hasn't gained weight, but doesn't don't I look like I'm in a fat suit? Like with this uh, turtleneck on, and you can't see the rest of my body. And I added this sweatshirt because it's cold in here. I think we're at 68 degrees. Anyway, um, yeah. I feel like I have on a fat suit. She also did say drink lots of water, which I'm gonna drink lots of water. I'm just thinking it's probably pushing all of the fat out, right? Like, um, like when you're doing weight loss or anything else, you need to get the fat to move on out. So I'm gonna drink more water. I think I might do a little detox tea tomorrow night. I have an interview for the project tomorrow, like right after work, and then I might do I don't know. I don't know about detox tea in the middle of the week. That's the only thing. I'm trying to think. I have the TLC detox tea and I have the teamy. I feel like the teamy is better, is a little gentler than the TLC. The TLC will have you hemmed up. And uh, I'm not trying to be hemmed up. So I think I'll do tomorrow night. I'll do the teamy. I'm saying tomorrow because it's already 1223. If I start drinking it now, it, it's, it could be a little drizzly. In the morning, you know what I'm saying? A little drizzly, not on the outside, not with the snow. In the toilet. It could be a little drizzly in that toilet. So, not gonna do that. Oh my God, it's 12.30. I don't know what I'm doing. I was sitting here, posting on Instagram, working, trying to upload a check to my checking account, which can wait till tomorrow. Cause even if I do it at eight, it's still gonna be dated tomorrow. So let me go put this. It's one of my residual checks. My Warner Brothers checks are getting smaller and smaller. I'm surprised I even get them still. This one is like $34. Eventually they say they get down to two. At once I'm like, well, as long as it's more than the stamp, go ahead and send it. If it's less than the stamp, don't, don't, don't send it. I ate an apple earlier before my chicken. And I think I feel apple. I need to floss. Um, we are going to go to bed. We're going to close out this vlog. And we'll see tomorrow what your girl is looking like. I feel like I'm wearing a fat suit. That is crazy. I've been bigger in my days, but I've never been this big as far as, like, I mean, if this matched my body. But, um... Jay Leno? Is it given Jay Leno? When I go to sleep, I'm gonna wake up, it's gonna be bigger. But we gonna make it to the bedroom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how much. No, I'm not. Cause I, I'm not even gonna post the video tonight. Why am I gonna be? It's already the next day. I mean, I'm not gonna post it in the morning. And uh, I was gonna say I, I was gonna edit, but I was just encouraging you to drink, which I shouldn't be if you're doing dry January, but you know that, I don't. I don't know if you're doing dry January. I just know. I don't even know, I'm more pointless. So I don't know, <laughs> only you know.
Oh, <laughs>